Hi guys, Yao G here and welcome to our latest video and I've got to tell you straight off, I am super psyched about this one guys. After months of waiting and months of hype, the brand new LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens has landed. It's released today and I've got to tell you, after about an hour's worth of playing through this, it is immense. They've implemented a ton of new stuff, multi-build, blaster battles, aerial space combat and everything they've implemented into it is just really cool they've done really well and it just creates a great really playable brand new lego game so guys i am going to jump straight into this one no messing about we're going to hit it with the first mission let's do this Welcome, young Skywalker. I'm looking forward to completing your training. In time, you will call me Master. You're gravely mistaken. You won't convert me as you did my father. It is pointless to resist, my son. into a trap, as is your rebel fleet. May the force be with us. We've got to be able to get some kind of a reading on that shield up or down. Well, how could they be jamming us if they don't know if we're coming? Break off the attack. The shield is still up. It's a trap! I told you it was dangerous here. Come on, let's keep a little optimism. Hello, I see you over there. Were you looking for me? And here we go then guys, it's started. Epicness already. And I gotta tell you, it's a little odd. I'm not gonna deny it, it's a little odd. You know, it's the Force Awakens playthrough and we're playing the last sort of part of the Return of the Jedi movie, which is cool. And I'm guessing it kind of it kind of makes sense because, you know, the Force Awakens is kind of the search for Luke Skywalker. And if you don't know who Luke Skywalker is, then this is gonna kind of explain it to you. And not only that, but it's super epic because we get to play with the young Han Solo, Chewie Chewie Baka, and Princess Leia. Which straight up for me is just epic. I gotta tell you guys, there is a total of 213 characters to be unlocked on this game. And I will mention, you might notice I won't talk over the cutscenes. I won't do that at all, guys. I will turn the volume up and I leave the subtitles on. I can turn them off if you want. Let me know in the comments on that one. <laughs> so here we are on Endor with the Ewoks <laughs> and our first multi build. So there's choices if you've not seen the demo that I put together. We can do two here. So either left or right. I'm actually going to go right. It's quite a quick one, and we'll just grab the collectible, the old mini kit there. And what you do with these multi builds once you've built one, you can just smash it straight up, and it'll pop back into roughly the place it was at before. And then you can build the other option. So there we go, and we've got a little trophy to boot with that, which is nice. I'm not going to try and attack this ATAT -AT walker here. I'm going to jump in my hand solo because he's got a lasso and should be able to save the Ewok. <laughs> so here's our first Ewok. And our first character unlocked. Hmm. 
<laughs> so let's jump in with the Ewok. There's a little sneaky hollow that he can snook into. It's pretty cool. And we're going to need to get Chewbacca up here. So somehow, let's see if he can do a build, which he can. We get a choice again of a multi-build, so we'll go with the ladder for, for the start. I'm loving the music in the background. I hope YouTube doesn't mind it. I really do. I really don't want to have to turn the music off on this, guys. It really does immerses in a full Star Wars sort of scenario, which is great. And I'm playing this one on the PS4, guys. Get a little look at the water here. I've got to tell you, the graphics are immense. They really are. So, the second one, and we're going to pull this one open. And as in the movie... <laughs> The AT-AT Walker will get smashed and crushed to pieces. Pretty epic. <laughs> so this is it. This is going to be our first blaster battle here, guys. As you can see, this sort of cover to duck behind. I'm going to steam in with old Han Solo here. Or rather, young Han Solo. And as it tells us, it's L2. You can sort of schnook out. And then blast away. And you can also obviously swap to another person. <laughs> A little bit sneaky to pop around. So we've got four of one type of stormtrooper and three of another to dispose of here. Should make pretty darn quick work of it with Han Solo's epic weapon. And we're popping up with trophies all the time here. That's pretty cool. Let's jump over to Leia. I'm not sure where Chewie is. He must be hiding at the back. And as you can see, she's kind of got a charged attack now. When it gives that circle symbol, we can do a charge shot. So we'll try and make quick work of this one. Oh my goodness, Leia's been taken down. Aim for these. Yep. And that's the AT-AT walk down. <laughs> they look pretty chuffed about it. And another trophy. Wow. There must be an absolute ton of trophies for this game on the PS. So here we go, guys. Look, a little look at the water. I have got to tell you, I think that looks immense. It really looks realistic. Really cool. I'm really impressed with that one. So there's another little hollow for the Ewok there, but we're going to have to get a few pals together for him, so... <laughs> they love a bit of music. And he pops through the hole. And he's basically got to push these logs, so he's going to need one, two, and hopefully three of his pals to give him a hand here <laughs> I love how they put it together guys it's really clever some of the interaction with the scenery and so forth is immense really cool and down it goes yeah looking pretty chuffed about that one another one of those big robots out of the way so again, we've got choice. We can go up top, left or right. So this is a three-way build. I think we'll go left first. We'll do them in order. Oh, we'll stick with the Ewok, hopefully. Can he jump in? Yes, he can. It's a nice-looking little blaster that he built. And our next unlock... R2-D2, one of the epic characters of the original movies, really cool. And this is one of the great things about LEGO Star Wars, is you just get to play all those epic scenes and characters, really fun, really fun. Anyway, I grew up with the Star Wars movies, so it's really nice to be able to play them. 
So this looks like a job for maybe R2. Maybe not. A little bit of a tough one to work out. I didn't quite suss this one out earlier when I had my first playthrough. But I think, there we go. We're up. We've got our mini kit. Which is what we're after. We'll smash this up. Okay, so he's struggling to smash it up. Not entirely sure why. Maybe it's because R2-D2 stood on it. Come on, R2. Get out of the way, fella. There we go. Which leaves us the third build. I really like how they've done these multi-builds. Really cool. And some of them you have to do the multi-builds. And some of them it's sort of a choice. And some of them you can only do one way. Once you've done it, that's it. So this is one of the new little puzzles. You've essentially got to line this thing up. And there we go. Some are two, some are three. Pretty cool. And let's see what we have here. Oh dear. So the Ewok's going to take on the Stormtroopers. See how good he is hand to hand. Nope, not looking great. I actually don't think he had a hand-to-hand -hand attack there. Could be wrong. So I think we might have to come back for that one. Not entirely sure who that is. Let's jump in my solo for a bit. Why not? Because we can. And we found a Jiggly Brick build. Nice. Looks like a lasso for that one. <laughs> oh, epic. Let's go. Come on, Solo. You can do it. And this is great, guys. We've now got our own ATAT -AT Walker. Which, oh, I've already done it. I crushed an Ewok. I am sorry. <laughs> Pretty tough. It just. It is good to control, it is well controlled, it is easy enough to control, but the Ewoks kind of get in the way a little bit sometimes. <laughs> Trying to kill the Stormtroopers, but you can't help squish a teddy bear. I mean, an Ewok every now and again. So let's see if we can blast a few bombs here. There's a few explosives around. I don't want to walk over them if I can help it. And the bridge is up here, so what we're going to do, we're going to have to blast these, I guess they're like gold bricks, if you like. We'll heat them up, cuts the rope, and away we go. I like how the ATAT -AT walkers have got cogs on the back of them. Pretty funky. Nice little Lego touch to it. So I'm going to try and take that ATAT -AT walker out in the distance before he sees me looks like I got him and there's one there I'm gonna try and take him out as well looks like he's a little bit out of range get a little close he's still not seen us good and we've got him that's cool down he goes he's not gonna be firing at us as we're wandering down here so there's plenty of little explosives here I really don't want to be stepping on those they're gonna be like mines to this thing Oh, they're really... You've actually got a stomp attack, if I could work out what it is. There it is. So you can get the little minions out of the way as you're concentrating on the big walkers here. Again, we got that one without him seeing us. Pretty cool. That should just about do it. We should be able to sneak to the right here. And here's the water I keep on going on about, guys. I know. But I'm so impressed with it. The reflections and it's just really cool how they've done it. I'm really, really impressed. I mean, why bother implementing something like that so cool into a Lego game? But they do. And I guess one of the reasons why some of the Lego games are so cool because they bother and they put a lot of effort into them. So here we go. Oh, he <laughs> nearly squished the Ewok. Very nearly squished the Ewok. So let's see if we can work this one out. 
See if we can get in here. Again, a multi build, so we're going to go to the right first. I think. I think. I think we need a disguise to get in here, guys, so hopefully. So a little puzzle to work out. Or maybe not. Just straight in. Oh, nice. Nice. That looks like the right disguise. Let's see if it works. And the camera says... The camera says yes. Excellent. It's over, Commander. The rebels have been routed. They're fleeing into the woods. We need reinforcements to continue the pursuit. Open the back door. Fighters coming in. There's too many of them. The blast came from the Death Star. Everything that has transpired has done so according to my design. You, like your father, are now mine. <laughs> Underestimate the power of the dark side. <laughs> Good. Use your aggressive feelings, boy. <laughs> I will not fight you, father. <laughs> so be it. Jedi. And guys, 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 can you believe you they've done this? Turned, I am so impressed. Be we now get to play with Luke and Vader with sabers in Emperor Palpatine's throne room. I mean, what an epic scene. Really impressed. Really, really impressed. So, and we've got force powers, so let's use them. <laughs> and he's full of Womp, the Palpatine. <laughs> and it's worth noting, guys, just, just while I'm blasting away here, that last little part where we were trying to get into the, uh, the shield defense room to take it down, when I first played that on another account, it gave me the wrong hat. It wouldn't give me the right disguise, and I had to entice the stormtroopers outside with a video screen with the second multi build. So it's worth noting it doesn't actually play out the same way every time on certain sections. I wasn't aware of that, but now I am. I think that's pretty darn cool. You have paid the so we're gonna have to build something here, <laughs> and Vader's gonna build it with force. <laughs> and it's a TIE fighter, so let's set that into action. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And we swap to Luke because the other one is going to be a TIE fighter. Uh, I do apologize. An X Wing, of course. The infamous X Wing from the trench runs. <laughs> Palpatine didn't look that impressed with it. I was impressed with it. And he's coming for a gun in. Oh, he's got both of them. Epic. Standing together, father and son, lightsabers and all. Your feeble skills are no match for the power of the dark side. Really cool moves with the sabers as well. Be nice if they implement some sort of combos at a later stage. That'd be wicked. Really would be cool. I guess we can only hope. So more force powering here. Come on, Vader. You can do it. Pull out the battery. <laughs> and one over. Ah, oh, one over the other side for Luke. Come on, Vader, protect me while I'm doing this. 
do it. Clear the way. And if I can remember rightly. Oh my goodness, Vader's down. Don't stand for it, Luke. Excellent. I love the sound effects as well. So we can actually throw the saber as well. So I'm going to target these above him. I need it. He's a Jedi, so why wouldn't he be able to throw his saber? Fight time, Vader versus Palpatine. Excellent. Really like the graphics on it as well. Really impressed. As always with the Lego games, but even more so now we're on next gen consoles. So we have been for a while, but. <laughs> Go on, Vader, do it. Help me take this mask off. Oh. Now, go, my son. Leave me. No, I've got to save you. You already have, Luke. <laughs> The shield is down. Commence attack on the Death Star's main reactor. I'm going in. Here goes nothing. Red group, go group. All fighters follow me. So here we go. First space battle with Lando flying the Millennium Falcon. And this bit is intense. It really is. They've done a really, really cool job of it. It does remind me, I'm not going to deny it, it does remind me a little bit of the Disney Infinity playset. I think it's Rise Against the Empire. But it really is impressive. It's full on action here, guys. So I've got four of five of whatever they are. There's five of five. I think I get a mini kit for that one. And you can just hold the shoot button here, which is pretty cool. Because i got to tell you, Pretty tough trying to concentrate on what's going on. So now we've got TIE fighters behind us chasing us. The strongest power source. It should be the power generator. We Form will up. have in a second. Stay alert. We can run out of space real fast. True Jedi. Okay. I think we've collected all the coins that we needed. That was pretty cool. Oh. A little bit off-putting. And as if it wasn't difficult enough already flying on top of the Death Star. Now we're inside it and we've got a guy trying to shoot us from behind. Looks like we've evaded him. And now we're in the main reactor room. Here we go and the shields are up. So we're going to have to blast this away. 20%. Oh, I think we're getting shot at as well, which is not cool. I can see it. But you want me to blast a few more shields. We're on 50%. Come on, Lando. <laughs> Neon Nub. This is epic. <laughs> I love how they've done them in Lego. 90%. We're nearly there. There are three parts to the generator. It must be destroyed with torpedoes. Whoa. If you don't have any... I'm sure some of the time very nearly flew into that then. So we need these torpedoes. And I think it's square. There's one. Oh my goodness. Have I got one already? I think I might have. Let's see if we can blast that one off. Yep. Okay. Let's get this one over here. 
a little bit close to the wall. A bit cautious there, old Lando fella. And this looks like the last one. Ready on my way out. So there we go guys, that's the first episode of the brand new LEGO Star Wars Force Awakens game. And the second episode, it's going to be moving on to actually the Force Awakens storyline now. So we're going to be getting to play with Poe Dameron and BB-8 and a few others. But for now guys, I do hope you enjoyed this episode and thanks as always for watching. We do hope to see you in the next and bye for now.